it's a white crystal substance. Uh, what was the crystalline substance? Let's see what you rolled. Yeah, you know, it's called sal salamoniac. Oh, god sal damn it. Reminds me, I've got to pay my salamoniac. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, that's uh, and uh, with that roll, you recognize it. It's in fact, under the statue, it says there's a little plaque that says the third spirit. It says, Let there be death. So the hell is there, it eaten, and it's kind of looking at you expectantly, like, huh? yeah, yeah. Then and you can um, even even though you're resistant to heat, you can still feel the heat that are like around its mouth. It shimmers, and there's sort of this, you know, this uh, smoke that's coming. It's acrid smoke that you can smell. Right. It's obviously dangerous enough that it is hotter than a normal fire. A normal fire, mm -hmm. I would normally resist. This thing probably will hurt. Yeah. Just to uh, just to clarify, by the way, there was nothing special about the statue itself. Nope. Okay. So he, yeah, only the the bowl that is holding his hands and the you know the white. I'm only asked because him. you described it as the plaque as saying the third spirit, and I was wondering if the, the third spirit clearly doesn't mean the statue itself. Then. No. You know, with that role, you know that it means yeah, the third. The the there's a theory of uh, of transformation in alchemy. Uh, that you change from that basically what you do in alchemy, you uh, yeah, make yeah. things purer, and so you extract the actual spirit or soul of the object. Right, spirit as in substance, not spirit as in persona. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's uh, the third spirit. Uh, there's a theory of like you know multiple spirits depending on groups of items. Uh, right, still, it's and this is just the third, right? Yeah, still questionable why you'd have a statue holding it and just not on a pedestal. I don't know. I mean, he is an alchemist, and these are some of the most essential aspects of it. So, right, but if you were, gotta show off, wouldn't you hate to be the person who's famous in your field, but are put into statue form, not for yourself? Like, oh yeah, you got to know who that guy is to know who that guy is. Otherwise, the third spirit, and then people come up not knowing who you are. They assume you're the third spirit, and I was like, fuck. Now I'm just fighting my own cause. <laughs> Let me see. But I'm already uh, dead because people are making statues of me. So technically, I am a third spirit. I'm spirit of some sort. Mm -hmm. Now, to give you the uh, the rundown from Wikipedia, it's a rare natural occurring mineral composed of am am ammonium chloride. It forms colorless white and yellow brown crystals in the isometric as uh, matter. It's very poor. has a very poor cleavage. Mm. Uh, cleavage <laughs> is like in the hardness scale. Yeah. So I think uh, it's the amount of pressure you can apply to a uh, mineral. So it's yeah. very brittle, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do you say it had high cleavage or low cleavage? Uh, it says very poor cleavage. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, well, I don't know, because brittleness is also its own measure. And then yeah. technically, it doesn't really measure up because obsidian has a low uh, brittleness measure, but it's a very hard mineral. So, mm -hmm. Oh, no, I think brittleness is the amount of heat it can take. I don't so know. It's very saying. weird. There's so many weird. I'm not a geologist. I just yeah. At this point, it's like we're we're outside scope. I guess it's just quote fragile. Is I was reading up a bunch of different things about uh different types of obsidian because I was looking up uh, sub uh sub not subterranean what's underwater underwater volcanoes and the obsidian mm -hmm. that they create because mm -hmm. they have different names for that. Yeah, but under under pressure and temperatures differences. Uh, yeah. so yeah, the 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 the. The, the the hound is there, right in front of you. It's in growling. It isn't friendly, but it's not attacking. Right. Uh, Braith here uh, is running around. I'm keeping it distracted, and Gar is yep. having fun investigating. So Braith is uh, waiting for you to. Uh, Braith really wants to kill the damn thing. It should not be here. Mm hmm. I mean, like, now would be the perfect time for Braith to do it, because he has the perfect opportunity to flank with Kix for it. <laughs> and Kix is definitely a bit on edge, too, because it doesn't seem like this thing will necessarily let them completely off scot-free. I mean, so can I actually, um, can I um, suggest then to the party that we get ready to um, attack the, the creature? Right. You you could probably step up and just go ahead and do it. I actually was going to cast a spell first, but as a okay. bonus action, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, um, if you're going to attack, you're going to have to roll a sneak. If you want to surprise a creature, 
you're gonna have to roll a sneak. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, my confidence in your plan went down the moment you said bonus action. So I can't imagine you taking this thing out with a bonus action of anything. Oh no, the bonus action would just give me one d4 radiant damage against the. So even if it's uh, hurt more by radiant damage, that'd be at most an eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's still pretty decent. Uh, you want me to stealth in front of it? That's a bad idea. I mean, well, you just to you with me is the point. Yeah. So uh, axe is out. Fuck me. Um, yeah. I got a 14. Are you uh, yeah. in heavy armor? No, right? Uh, Chainmail. Is that heavy yeah, or that's, no? That's heavy but, armor. So that's it's heavy. a zero then. Mm-hmm. It, it, it knows you're there. Disadvantage yeah. to stealth checks. So, initiative then. Let's remove all turns. Well, that's fine because I really don't really understand. The room is a puzzle. I'm assuming it is, but I have no fucking idea. I'll just roll again. Something here is to be transformed, oh. and I don't know what it is. Oh. My god, we are rolling like ass today. Oh, I didn't have my token selected. Whoops. Yeah, you add me, and I'll just type it in. Yeah, I just roll again and did it. This thing is going to destroy us now. Oh well, no, okay. it's only going to destroy one of us at a least. time. And at least we're now spread out enough that if there's a cone of fire, it only gets one of us. I'm sure it has that if it has fire coming out of its fangs or mm-hmm. mouth and stuff. Uh, so you're number two then. Let me see. Yeah, you just right click the token. Add to initiative is on. Used to be on the mm-hmm. top. Okay, yeah. I've actually been That's checking my spell list to see if there's anything I can do to, like, screw this thing up. I got a couple of ideas, but they'll take actions. The Hellhound turns around and only sees two people. Uh, you know, Kix hasn't attacked it, so. And actually fed it, so. It doesn't know that it's going to be part of the attacks. I think so... you need to sort one more time. Huh? I think you need to sort one more time. Okay. Unless 424 sounds like good math to you. Yeah, okay. There's two fours there, so... Oh, no, but I was in the middle of two fours for some reason, as a two. That's why I said 424 didn't sound right. So, yeah, it turns around, and it breathes fire on breath. On breath. Yay! Roll. Uh, let me let me put it on the screen to see. Uh, how it sells fire at a fifty foot, fifty foot cone. Each creature in that area must make a DC twelve dexterity saving throw, taking twenty one <laughs> or two to six fire damage on fail safe. But how much is that much is that? Yeah, yeah. By the way, how many uh, hit <clears throat> dice did you use last rest, right? How many what hit dice did you use? Just one. Uh, I don't remember how hurt you were. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, for God's sakes! <laughs> so close. That one. I am not. Ooh. I'm not hitting anything tonight. Well, in our defense, you were the one that was so vehemently against kill for killing it. So, I think I at this point we should, should raise all of our hands. Thing. We should raise all of our hands in the air and say we weren't with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this yeah, is all be... burned to death, though. <laughs> Then I don't even know that guy. He was just he followed me down the road. In fact, I think he was trying to kill us. I want to thank you for killing that guy. Yeah, just to make sure that it makes sense that you're in, in the breath. Oh yeah. no, I I'm 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 down. Yeah, you're down. Not dead punched. though. You're not, not dead. dead. Just remember a lot of people have died before you. You're just joining the company. So Braith. Uh, please make your first uh, save me throw. Let me put this on the uh, game later. I, I click the death save icon yep. on here. The words. Mm-hmm. Now your first Ooh. failed death save. Jesus Christ. You want tens or better? Kicks. Hey, it's me. I've barely Ow. rolled higher than a ten all night so far. Yeah. Right. You see, you see how the hound whips around, breathes fire, and breathes because it made a, a you know a motion to use a spell. It recognized uh, the sudden motion as an attack, which it was, apparently, uh, and breath fire on it. But it hasn't turned on you yet, so y- you got a, you got an opening there. It's right. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit it with a distracting strike. Mm-hmm. 24 or 15. 
Oh, wow, yeah. Now it's fully distracted with you. And then I will action surge and then go ahead and slash it normally. 14. Yeah, it doesn't have anything else that... Wow, yeah, you, you whacked it. Is a uh, 14 also a hit? A, a, let me see. Mm, I believe that it is, in fact... Nope. Nope, okay. It, it, it jumps out of the way as you, you hit it once and it yells and... Rawr! It's like, you try to hit it again instead of... Now it turns on you, so it's distracted with you, so it's going to turn and attack you next turn. Bad dog, bad. And of course, bad. I try to pull it away from Gar's attention, too. So I'm just like, over mm -hmm. here, over here. Well, I mean, you already did. That's what the distracting strike thematically yeah. is. Yeah, exactly. Gar, what are you doing? Uh, I guess Ray of Frost, uh, for, with the advantage I was given. Mm hmm. Welcome to the world where advantage never means anything. <laughs> oh, no. uh, let me see how far away the owl is. 60 feet. All right, it flies right up and uh, eight action to give kicks advantage on his next turn and then stays there because he only had 60 feet of movement. Yeah, uh, Hellhound goes for kicks. Goes, goes in for a bite. Okay. And misses. It missed, so I will repost with a superiority die. Wow. With yeah. advantage, too. And a critical. Yeah, that's a critical. Uh, so that's 15 plus another 15. That's 30 damage in a single strike. As it lurches at me, I just put it, it down. It jumps on into, and you just sort of, what, how do you kill it? What do you do? Because it just jumps for you to try to take you down. Yeah, I like Marvel take up a fire. protective stance. I have my sword ready, and it I just use its full weight to bear down on the sword and just take the sword down to the ground. It's dead. Somewhere in your head, thing. you're listening to Braid say, I fucking told you so. <laughs> Braid, you roll. still have to make a, make a roll. If you roll a 1, you're dead. If you roll a 20, you're back up. 12 good enough? Well, 12, 12 is... is yeah, I say 12 is just one success, Seven. one fail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, kicks. Uh, your companion is down. Still smoking <laughs> from the, the fire blast. I will approach, I will go ahead and use my bonus action to pull something out of the bag, which mm -hmm. I believe is going to be our one and only Kelton potion. You have three and I will it. rub yeah. it on him. Yeah, We have three of those. Yeah, yeah. so it's, I believe is 2d8 two. plus 2. Mm -hmm. so you come back at 10, and I'm going to remove a dose. You also have a superior healing potion, but the this thing works better. Well, it works better because you don't have to try to swallow it. Right. It can be it can be ingested uh, or it can be You heal ten hit points, but you also drowned, so sorry. Yeah. Oh, no. Well <laughs> damn it. Good no. Yeah. So as yeah. you're like rubbing the stuff all over my body because I guess there's like second or third degree burns on it now. Uh I say to you, I told you so. Huh. <sighs> I thought that plan would have worked out a little bit better. I guess I was a bit more on edge than I thought. And as you're talking, a gust of wind slams the door behind you, this door, mm -hmm. and runes flare up in the door. In fact, when they do the, the entirety of the walls, they flare up with runes. And then they disappear. Crap, I've seen this. The door's still there, but yeah. Mm -hmm. A witch can't cast spells in a room. <laughs> sorry, I can't, can't spoil it. No spoilers, no spoilers. I'm sorry, where were what the main, the front entrance door was the one that did that? Yeah, this one. Okay. And all across the wall, uh, for, a, for a brief second, a series of runes flashed and then disappeared. Did we catch a glimpse of what the runes look like or anything like that? Mm. Yeah, it'll be, it, it, it would be a difficult arcana check. I'm not even going to bother. I am not trained. All right, well, here's the counter to that is I am just going to take 10 minutes to cast Protect Magic. In those 10 minutes, um, I guess, do I do a hit a rest or extended yeah, rest? Yeah, I'll like be a four hour for a short oh, yeah. Then in that case, I got a Cure Light Wounds I'm going to use on myself. Mm-hmm. After 10 minutes, you just you realize that the entire room 
um, is um, it's based in in, 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 a, in a sort of low hum of magic, and it's transformation magic, but also uh, elemental transformation, and which is you know, uh, and you mean invocation. Of, Invocation, uh, and uh, also what would be the... Or say, because uh, Elemental isn't a school of magic. No, no, and that's Invocation. Invocation, Transformation, and... Um, what's divination. The divination? No, no, Divination. The one that does... Conjuration. Uh, conjuration. So, Planner, Elemental, and Transformative Magic. You mean Invocation? Yeah. <laughs> elemental is not a... I know, but I'm, I'm thinking to the normal, you know, layman. Well, the layman wouldn't know schools of magic. <laughs> Let me just give you the layman's terms about quantum mechanics. So, whatever it was, is a complicated spell or series of spells that bind the place at, pla at a planner, elemental, and evocation. also, I guess, and, and evocation level. Yeah. I mean, th just for shorthand, fireball, evocation. Yes, yes, I know. It's just like... Mm -hmm. So it's a very complicated spell. No, oh, I mean, it's probably have three spells being used at once. I'm sure Curiosity has, like, the sound of rain outside just suddenly and mysteriously stopped. Well, you don't hear it anymore. That's true. I'm sorry. Okay. I know you said it three times in a row. Evocation, uh, transformation, and conjuration, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. I just, You said the word planar a couple of times. I'm like, that's not even... Yeah, conjuration would be the planar element. Yeah, okay. That's, that's why I was confused. Like, wait, I've heard... I know, I said it back to you, and then you said planar, and my flanders just went, what? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a spell or a series of very complex spells weaved together. Why is this place wired with so many spells? What does wired well, even mean to our minds? I, I have no idea. It just seems like an expression I'd Brought from the army. Well, well, you see, it's wired because wizards are always the puppeteers pulling the strings and wires of things around them, you see. That seems like a stretch. I mean, yes. <laughs> I mean, have you ever seen booby traps wired together? No. I'll take that as a no. Well, see, I'm, that's typically a thing kobolds do. I'm neither a kobold, nor do I hang around with kobolds. I guess Kix would be knowledgeable of that. Uh, yep. Uh, so we already checked out the body here. He he doesn't happen to be the person we're looking for, right? No. He seems rather young and mm -hmm. short. Human, well, barely human, but short and, uh, you know, young. Wait, barely no short more. or barely human? Uh, well, barely human because he got torched. Oh, so once we're dead, we no longer are humans. What you're saying? It's more that there's not much of him that leaves him to be recognizable as human. Well, yeah, I want to take exemption to this as the one of two non-human party members. <laughs> yeah. I think aren't you both like non-humans? Like, I'm the only one. Welcome to the welcome to the conversation. Glad you could join us. Uh well. I'm still recovering from being burnt to a crisp. I guess it's obvious what happened to this poor guy. Yep. But maybe we should head deeper in and see if we can find our wizard. Maybe he'll explain what's going on. Tell Tell Case why you don't set your own farts on fire. <laughs> um, are you going to continue studying the room or are you going to move on? I've learned everything I can about this room. Yeah, oh. and I think I'll agree with Gar. I mean, there's plenty more to learn about this room, but I'm not going to be able to learn it. Yeah, exactly when was some of this architecture made? What's, what's like, the exact... Pe no. <laughs> no, literally, I mean that all the statues have different phases of alchemical lore, and they all tie together with a magical rune described. It's all beyond me. Literally, I know that there's a very important thing going on in the room that I can't really solve. So, mm -hmm. either I'm going to cast eventually cast Shatter on something and see if I can break it open, or I'm not going to do that. So, I choose not to do that. Right, maybe we just shouldn't mess with the magic stuff. Oh no, we should always mess with magic stuff. I'm just saying, let's not yeah. do it here. I'm not uh, against messing with it, but I actually agree. Let's get out of here, please. Yeah. There's this doorway on the other side. Uh, does that lead deeper in? I'd assume yeah. no, because there's no arrow pointing that yeah. way. So, <laughs> let's go. Um, 
So yeah, as you do, there's a, another doorway. Uh, so you're gonna open that door. Here. Yeah, I'll open it. I'll let you go first. As okay. you open it, you realize that it opens. It actually a bright light comes in when you first blind it, and then you realize you see before you uh, what looks like a canyon. I'm oh, sorry. What'd you say? A canyon. The a end. canyon. Sorry, I thought you said a canyon. <laughs> That's what I was saying. That doesn't make any sense. Please repeat. Yeah, there gets a dude in the room. No, no. Yeah, be gaming <laughs> on the ground. He's wearing track shoes. He seems to have won the gold medal in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I chased after him, but you can't catch him. Oh. Hey, what do you call such a man? Bolt. <laughs> man. You are Usain. So, are you going to go through the door? And, and hot air starts blowing off, like, completely different from what you were being experiencing up to this point. Uh, I stop. Yeah. Uh, I will proceed. Yeah, I'm not going through there right now. I have resistance to fire. I'm not as afraid as I should be. Yeah, we only encountered a room with a hellhound in it and then encountered a doorway with a hot, burning air coming through. With Clearly. that canyon in the middle of it. plane of fire or something, nothing big. That's what it looks like. In a probably. room filled with, you know, uh, shit, sorry, conjuration? I can't, mm -hmm. sorry, the insistence to use planar. In... Con conjuration, conjuration evocation, invocation, and transformation. Yes. Is transformation a school? I'm questioning no, it's everything. Not, but, no. no, it's not, but fuck it, it's here. I think conjuration is the same as... Transmutation, yes. Okay. There we go. Okay. No, I kept saying uh, but yeah, I will step into the room and I'll kind of like look around, see what else is here, maybe peer down the canyon. The room is bigger on the inside. Yes. I mean, it has to be. It's a canyon. And the path continues onward. You don't know how long it takes. It's No, but it's like it actually crosses the canyon. Okay. Yeah. I was just... about to say like, oh, we're going to find a way across. I mean, do you look you up actually... and see a ceiling? You... No, you don't see a ceiling. Wow, it's, it's like, like you, you are. were stepping in, and and you're in this. Uh, you were stepping into this other location. Was the okay. doorway just floating in midair? It's on the ground. It's just floating on the ground. Um, is there like a? Can I do like an insight check to see if this is actually a real thing or an illusion or something like that? You would have to go in and try to touch something. To see if. All right, I will. I will bite the bullet. Go. Wait, inside. wait, don't. Okay. Just have Kix throw you something back. Hey, Kix, grab a rock and throw it back in here. Okay, I'll I'll just look for a rock at the on the ground and I'll just throw it at Braith. Yeah, it's you take D four damage. Tick, 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 tick. It lands over here. Yeah, I pick up it the seems rock, like a rock and in fact, as, as you Kix, as, as you are on the other side, you just see the you're at, actually at the bottom of the canyon, right at the floor. Mm -hmm. And it's a free standing, uh, free standing, um, you know, passageway. You know, it's a door. Oh, okay. We're at the bottom of it. I thought no, we were at the top. No. The whole time. Okay. All right. And yeah, so um, you you just throw it in. I pick it up, and I'm gonna look at it. It's a yellowish. Nine. This one I finally roll good. Nineteen. Isn't on inside the a social skill? Yeah, inside is a social skill. Yeah, it would be uh, for for intelligence. Let's say that it's your intelligence check. We guys have to do intelligence check, not yeah. insight. Okay, my, uh, sorry. I remember there's a check for illusions. I just can't remember. Yeah. Oh, I got an eleven. Oh, so. Usually you touch yeah. an illusion. You see yeah, you right. touch it and you investigate it. Investigate it. You investigate it and you touch it. It's real. In fact, it's kind of dusty, like grimy and dusty. It's like it's been in sand or something or dirt. This is very unusual. You said, uh, Master Kicks. You said that the statues are all alchemical. Um, or represent alchemical um, elements. I think that was Gar, but yeah. Or M Master Gar, you said that, right? Right. Um, is this an element that could be? Uh, and I show him the rock that I have. Is this by chance like an element that could be used? In it's not sulfur, is it? No, nope, it's a rock, stone. Oh, okay. Well, you said yellow and everything like that, so I'm just thinking. Yeah, because it's part of the floor, right? These are yellow colored. Yeah. Yeah. All floors are yellow. Right. Makes perfect sense. Thank you. <laughs> not all yellow rocks are sulfur. True. But also sulfur True, but to yellow. be fair, not all yellow rocks are also the floor. So Yeah. 
I'm just trying to work with what I got. That's all. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I'm thinking that perhaps these statues might change what's in that room. Well, I think probably the runes also change what's in the room. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, my but, personal thought is that the right. rooms are being conjured material and transformed to look like the way that they look. Uh, um, I don't know where the evocation is coming from. I guess any it, element always requires evocation. It was indicated that there's a path here, and it does lead on, right? Mm -hmm. Is this the only room that opened? I mean, the only room? Yeah. So none of the other doors? There's no other door? No, there's is there? no other door. Nope. Okay. Sorry, I was is looking that... at the, I guess, what looks like tapestries, thinking those were doors. No, they're tapestries. Oh, whoops. Okay. Well, yeah, because uh, this turns in from... <laughs> that would turn this place from what I thought to be a gateway of all different doors into a hallway. Mm -hmm. Or a foyer, as some might call a it. A foyer, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I want to go down the path and see what's here. I can't okay. let you it go. It seems alone. safe enough. It's not like it's terrible here. It's well, like you warm. could just toss him your sword. Not I can't safe let to you go, go alone. alone take so this. I will. I will accompany. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. well, anybody heard that? What's that? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, so everybody's going in there. Or who's going in there? Uh, I am. Braith is now. Gar, what are you going to do? I turn around and I grab the sack that the dead body has. Okay. Yeah, that apparently only only one who remembered it had. He has a it's basically a series of tools. Yeah, he had a pouches tools. that had sacks and whatnot on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So you go ahead and grab those. Those that's good. I I actually thought you uh, looked into that already. The okay. owl did. The owl wasn't gonna pick up it, especially mm -hmm. not right before a fight. Uh, what's in it? Just tools. What kind of tools? Uh, they seem rather specific tools. Uh, it won't make an intelligent check. You don't recognize the tools. I'm only like, just make a general intelligence check. I got no idea. I... Hey guys, come back! Look at these tools. <laughs> all right. Uh, with the twelve, do I notice what the tools are at all? Uh, they might be uh similar to uh lockpick tools, and similar such things. Great. So the guy's a thief. We killed the guard dog of the tower, which means that when we get to the top, dude ain't gonna be happy. Well, I'm, you don't put that on me. Well, no, I put it on the guy who begged us to kill it. Oh, I take full responsibility. The butcher, for in fact, I think his name is. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I guess we have nothing to worry about then. I take full responsibility for this because that evil beast needed to die. I fall back on our previous plan of I'm not with this guy. Um, but I guess we're walking down the path then. It's a moment. Everything yeah, ready. transferring us around. Mm -hmm. So the All room right. had exactly two ferns in it. Only two. Only two. And four statues. So One of are. the ferns tells only the truth, and the other fern tells only lies. Seven benches. <laughs> All right. That is uh, a lot of evidence that this is twelve a candles, insanely um, built room. There's one giant plant too. Where? Right next to the uh, the column here. Oh yeah, it's kind of like hiding behind there, isn't it? Where? Are you pinging something? I don't see it. Is that a plant? Yeah, yeah like one is. to me. I mean, in that case, there's probably a plant over here. Maybe. Well, you see this part of this plant right here. It's the same thing as this. Oh, no, that's part of the ceiling. How can you tell? Because, uh, look, you notice like the spikes in the other parts of the uh, columns? There those could that... all be plants. No, this room is filled all... with plants. Those are all spikes. They're just a... It's a spiky ceiling. If that was true, then this couldn't be a spike, because we're isometric looking in at an angle. The angle is down in this direction. So these would be invisible to us because they would be underneath the shadow, which means if it's coming out, it's coming from behind the shadow, which means it's a plant. Which means every corner has a plant in it. I don't think so. I okay. think you're wrong. I think you killed a dog. 
It was a hellhound. It was a guard it's dog. Cool. No, it deserved to die. It was acting like a domesticated animal, and you killed it. That makes you a monster, butcher. Okay. So. Okay. Braith does not care. <laughs> um, <laughs> about what? About being called a monster. I know. That's why I keep calling you a monster. <laughs> I mean, for somebody who doesn't care, you do go on about not caring a lot. Oh, no, I don't like all these mysterious rolls. Uh, so what are you going to do? You're simply going to walk down? What are you going to do? You see this door, which is closed, uh, on the other side. Again, just Is this a slope, slope up or a slope down? Yeah. Just I want to say slope. I want to there be alert. Not slope. You're just on the floor of the canyon. Yeah. So it's a perfectly level canyon. More or less, yes. I want oh, to these, say, are, like, these are raised areas, but you're in the floor. This area is a floor. Well, you know, I just mean the part we're on. Mm -hmm. yeah. For some reason, I thought this was a path going up to the top of the canyon. I say uh, to Kix, this is not a good spot to be in. Oh, it's definitely not. This is terrible positioning. Kix, I mean, wake up. What are you doing? Ambush. Kix, uh, roll a uh, perception check for me, since you're carefully observing your, your, your whereabouts. Mm-hmm. Everyone else, you're passing the perception. I got a 13. Mm, uh, yeah. 13 on the owl, too. Although, if you're not about to launch an ambush on us, like I think you are, I'm just going to send my owl straight up to see what's on the top of the canyon. Or yeah, where the real, to... real ceiling of the room is. The owl flies up. Uh, make a perception check. You two uh, failed. So yep. Well, the owl has... Uh, Keen hearing, hearing and sight, which means has advantage. Advantage, yep. but I don't actually have a button to push. For, oh wait, maybe this will work. Yeah, just roll like two d twenties. Oh, uh, wow, another situation in which that old adage of advantage doesn't matter. <laughs> you technically got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you. Um... But again, I'm flying up there not so much to see if an ambush is coming, but to actually see if the true ceiling of this room. I... Is the um the the way the canyon is um set up? Do we, is there like an overhead or an overpass, um of the rock? So like you know if you could walk under like it, you could like walk under no, like the edges. These are solid walls. You would have to make a climbing check to get up. No, no, no. I mean like um, for example, if here and there's like a area under the top. Yeah, no, it's 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 not like this where it's uh, you have a place where you can take cover. Nope. Okay, just check. No. Yeah, it's their sheer wall. Well, near sheer walls, because they do have crenellations and the like. As you're passing through here, a couple of figures peer over the edge and Same begin. As a tail. You don't see these guys yet. So, yeah, these two come in and they have uh, javelins and they say something. You, you know Orc, right, uh, Bray? I do. You, the accent is weird. Because it's not the usual orc extra you, but it is what could nice it was orcs like die intruders. They have a uh initiative, they surprise you, so we're gonna roll initiative. Okay. So again, the rules as follows. Hey, a number above ten. Oh jeez. Yeah. We just have to roll for one of them. Uh da -da -da -da. Oh, peace. Yeah, they go on 20. Uh, so let's make this descending. Yep. It's interesting. Descending puts it... I guess it's from... Yeah, it makes sense. But my mind always gets it confused a little bit. Uh, so one of them is going to sling a spear at Brave. And the other one is going to sling at Kicks. And they have advantage because you didn't see them when they slung yep. the spear. The only advantage I have here is that I'm wearing big, heavy armor. That's one on Brave, and Ooh. the one on Kicks. Welcome to the party, pal. What the fuck, man? <laughs> for ten points of damage, uh, Javelin just comes it's sailing. Like, oh, poor Robert! Out. I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's like every combat crit, crit, crit. Like fuck you, Brave. You are terrible. I mean, let's be fair though. They had advantage on that, and this is another scenario proving advantage doesn't matter. I know. 
but still annoying. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! So they did that, uh, Gar Yenix. Oh, that pisses me off. Braith, not I mean, if, in the real life. if you're looking for coverage, you could sort of slam yourself on the against the wall, so it would be kind of hard for someone. You have to go right on the edge and attack you. But that doesn't cover you. From Do you remember the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video game on the NES? Yep. These guys are wielding javelins, which is kind of equivalent to Donatello's bow. I believe when you fight Rocksteady, that is the best weapon of choice. So I don't think that's an actual benefit to you here. So Gar, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to... Chill touch. This guy. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's Another advantage. situation where advantage wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, that's a hit. All right, and then I fly the owl over. Well, I don't know how far away does the owl get. You didn't tell me. It's about 30 to 40 feet uh, up. So you have to climb, and then... Yeah. Wait, oh, what? The owl keep The owl is already up there, it, and it keeps flying. Well, if you're trying to go for the ceiling, the owl just gets flying. So you're saying that the owl is 60 feet up? About, yeah. Because I'm assuming that you're saying this fight started about six feet at six seconds. That's right. I'm going to start doing the Han Solo. Oh, this fight started mm -hmm. six feet after the... Yeah. Anything happened. Mm -hmm. All right, so if it's only 60 feet up, then it's... Uh... Yeah, but it's just, it, it, at 60 feet, it didn't reach any ceiling, if you were expecting a ceiling. So either this is a very, very big place... Well, then I'm going to let it keep... I'm going to send it another 40 feet up, then. Okay. If it doesn't hit a ceiling at 100 feet? Nope. All right, that's fine. 100 feet's the limit of how far I can see through its eyes anyway, so that's as far as I go. I'm uh, done. So, uh, guard kicks, you're next. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move over here to try to take advantage of that cover, and I will choose the dodge action. Uh, because I don't have any ranged weaponry. <laughs> And I will motion to Braith, like, come here, come here, I'll cover you with my shield. We'll force them down. Um, yes. That's my turn. Braith, yep. Yeah. I'm going here, but I actually do have a ranged attack. Hey. Oh, question on how to use it, because I don't think it's set up properly. I don't think it's uh, set up properly. But it's this. Who are you attacking? Because right now you can't see this guy. He's over the lip. You can't see this guy here. I can I can only see that guy? Yeah. Oh, good. Here's the one I'll attack. 120 foot. Um, guiding bolt. Okay. Guiding bolt. A flash range of light. Spell streaks, attack. Yeah, range spell. Streaks toward the creature of my choice within that range. Uh, range a... spell attack on the target. On a hit, target takes 46 radiant. Okay. Now that's the question. Like a ranged um, you spell, roll. what would that on your spells? Be? It should indicate like what that bonus should be. It's your proficiency plus your what? casting stat, which is wisdom okay, plus okay. your plus two. It's your wisdom plus two because you're a, a four level character. Okay, so it's a plus f uh, uh, plus five then. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So I'm just uh, d twenty plus five. Me. I, I, I'm yeah. I, I have to set up the macro, but but never mind. Yeah, it's... it disappears. Actually, it disappears very quickly because there's a bright, a bright light in between the rocks and the bright day that it is. It's just sort of mm -hmm. it's there. You know, it's going, but you know, you 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 know, very quickly you lose sight of it. Oh well. So yeah. Anyway, okay. I'm ma I'm making that macro for it now. This guy leans over, and this guy uh, he's gonna get on here and let's see how far he is, which is the closest target. 50, 50. Yeah, this guy's gonna have disadvantage. His attack, but not this guy. Yep. And I'm dodging, so also disadvantage. So let's go. Okay, he's gonna go. Well, you shot at him, so he's gonna shoot back at Braith uh, with disadvantage. Yeah, that's a miss. Oh, good. And the other one is going to, because, you know, why not? He's going to go for kicks. Actually, no, he's going to go for the wizard who attacked him. Ah, he's within range and no disadvantage. Wait, which one is? Uh, This one right here. Okay. 
I'm not sure. For some reason, I thought I saw something coming off of this guy. It's like, I didn't do a thing to you. <laughs> so he shoots. And this he misses. Is... And someone else is going to do something else. Yeah, I thought there would be more gifts of the 1987 Super, uh, I mean, Teenage Mutant Turtle video game. I'm sure there's all this playthroughs and all that. So, yeah, Gar, mm -hmm. you're up. Oh, no, I was just looking for one for specifically of Donatello stabbing down at Rocksteady. Because that's <laughs> no, literally. I know, I, know the, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, but that's yeah. literally how you fight that one. I wouldn't do that with anybody else. I prefer the arcade version that came in 1989, but that's just me. Anyway, I, I uh, prefer the one I played Gar. at home, so that's why. Yeah. I do have that game. It's uh, a miss. Uh, it's a miss. I'm yeah. done. You can give yourself advantage first. No, I can't. No, it's 100 feet. So you have oh, to, the owl, the owl will have to That was 100 die. feet up and can fly 60 feet a turn. I'm just going to keep the owl okay. up here looking down at everything. I mean, technically, yeah. I see the invisible guys that uh, Lessons hasn't pointed out yet. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to continue being defensive because I don't have a great range option. And I don't want to pull it out. So I'm going to do that and beat her back. Okay. I mean, I uh, can kicks. use another attempt at that spell, but at this point, I'm just not really into it. Um, There's a that door guy here. Kicks. This is what I wanted to do in the, the, um, in the first place, just sort of hug the mm -hmm. wall and make a bolt for the door. So I'm moving over um, here, hugging the wall. Uh, mm -hmm. And then next turn, I guess I'll do a double move. So I'm going to wait here. How many spell okay. slots do you have left, by the way? I got one level one, one level two. Okay. So, you know, we haven't taken a long rest or anything. No, I know that. That's he why I'm asking. Here. This guy's going to make an attack against you in disadvantage. Uh, he misses. That Imagine those are both crits again. And <laughs> the second guy sees that you're trying to move to, for cover and goes for the attack as well. He does not have this advantage. But he misses as well. You know, one javelin just hits the wall behind you on top of you, and the other one hits the ground beside you. You know what? I think I know what I'm going to do next turn. Gar, uh, since your owl is up there, yeah, you see that there's more orcs moving into position. Yeah. See this guy. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna he's gonna go for kicks with disadvantage. This guy. Let's just say that this guy pops up because he's gonna attack this round. Good thing they're not attacking with their great axes, though. Uh, so kicks with advantage. That's a miss. Uh, Griffin is done, I guess. Let's see. Let's wait for him to come back. I, I the... thought it was uh, Gar. Who's next? Yeah. Okay, Gar, you're up. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I thought you were think he got attacked. We were waiting for him. No, no. I finished. I finished the orcs, and that was your turn. But they're throwing javelins. Keep jab throwing javelins. Uh, wait, is that great. right? I don't think that's right. What? Well, because before you attacked everybody, I was the last one to act. No, no, no. I said that the owl saw something. No, no. I attacked... Look at the rolls, right? Unless you're saying that Braith and Kix did nothing on their turns. I didn't. No, oh, is that true? You just you guys just did nothing? I'm just not. I didn't do anything either. Yeah. Yeah, oh, well, fuck dodging. you guys. You're messing me up. Sorry. <laughs> so you did turn you. Yeah. Alright, she'll touch this guy. Wow, nothing happens. Cool turn. Yeah. I'm done. Hope you guys do something. Like, Kicks. climb the wall... Well, I was thinking of doing that next. Uh, things aren't looking great, so I'm going to actually move over to this wall. Uh, and that'll have to be the turn, because that's as far as I can get on that. Okay. Uh, Not to climb next turn. Yeah, brave. Remember that when you're climbing, unless you have a climbing speed, you climb at half your speed. I, uh, I'm going to grab one of the javelins from the uh, ground. Yeah. I wish you didn't run over there, damn it. Um, all right, I got the javelin in my hand, and I'm going to 
If you imagine you this is a uh, martial arts movie, you take all the javelins that have hit the ground and throw them at the wall in front of kicks, and you can a, run up how them. How come the uh, arrow is not coming up? What the hell? Do you have it selected? I thought I did. I guess wrong. You're going here, you're going here, you're going here. Where you, you have going? chosen. I was trying to get over here, like, next to kicks, because at this point, we should probably both stick together. Okay. But, um, I'm trying to do the arrow so I can see the distance, that's all. Okay, so you were here 45 feet. So you make a full, you have to make a full run, basically. Double movement to get there. All right. Um, all right, double move. Let's do it. Yep. Basically what I did. Okay. Wow, another turn where you did nothing. The orcs. The orcs see that you're trying to climb there. This guy is, uh, that's for 1d4. 1, 2 kicks, 3, 4. Uh, great. But he has his advantage, so that's fine. This advantage, this advantage uh, misses, and the two guys here see that kicks got there first, so he's going to attack with uh, normal attacks. Um, I thought they couldn't really shoot downwards with this. No, they can. They can. Um, There's no overhang. Remember, it was the first thing. Yeah, okay. Bray fast. All right, so twenty. And that's the second one, that's an that's a miss. No critical though. Boy. 10 points of damage for kicks. Yep, that hurts. Can't do anything about that. Yeah. Gar. Uh, I'll switch it up. And you see the orcs are screaming obscenities like, kill the human. Yeah. Only one of us Bastards. understands orc. Yeah. yeah, they're trying to kill us. We need to either leave or kill them now. What am I going to be more upset about? The fact they're trying to kill us or that they're cursing at us? <laughs> uh, Gar. What are you going to do? What I did. Oh, real fast. Uh, this one? Oh, uh, the same guy. One? I'm assuming that I missed. Uh, with a 13? No, that's exactly, exactly what you need to do. For two points. Sweet. I hope that we're not going to be here all day on my one to two point damage taps. Well, you could always cast a spell. Why would I do that? They're not worthy of a spell. Kicks, you're up. What are you going to do? Right. I'm going to try to climb up. Mm -hmm. Should I make a check, or shall I just uh, move Climb up? check. Yeah, you do a climb check. Yeah, so athletics. Mm -hmm. 16. 16. You move 30, so it's 15, so it will take you two rounds to climb up. Okay, yeah. so Unless they knock I you off. Start climbing. Uh, with the javelin I have, I'm going to throw mm -hmm. it at one of the orcs that's right in front of us, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's do it at the one that's uh, over yes. here. You can't attack this guy. This guy is farther back, so you can. So yeah, that's the, here. yeah, that's okay. the one I was going for. I, I don't that's know. a strength check. It's attack. It's your. Uh, you can use strength or dexterity, whichever is higher. I guess it's a. Well, that's uh, easy. Strength plus your. Uh, plus your your. your <clears throat> yeah, in it, yeah. Your bonus. What's the blue line for? I have no idea. That was me trying to do the arrow again, but I think I clicked click the wrong thing. Just uh, delete that, yeah. So, roll it. Oh, I actually hit it with the javelin, 22. Okay, that's, uh, let me see what the javelin damage is. It's a little, oh, it's a 1d6 plus your strength. Strength modifier. Mm-hmm. Plus your strength. Okay, I roll 1d6 plus 18. Seven. Not bad. <laughs> Seven. Hey, there we go. I'd probably just, like, throw it and pelt him right into the uh, the shoulder somewhere. Ah, he's gonna make a, a dexterity saving throw. Ah, he stays. Like, he's when you hit nearby and he sort of he, he dodges, and he sort of slips like, oh, God, fucking shit! Argh, I'm gonna pull back. Pull back. Uh, he was this close with one, like, ah! And um, uh, uh, are there any other javelins near my feet at the moment? Uh, yeah, the one they threw at, at Kicks, basically. All right, I grab that and I get it ready to throw it again. Technically, wouldn't that be in Kicks's foot? It didn't hit his. But... It hit him. So sad. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, so one yeah. One missed. The other one didn't. Uh, orc. The orc continued to uh, pelt you with. Uh... Uh, I like to think that these orcs are speaking Orcish, but they're actually speaking in a French accent. 
<laughs> I've heard so this Godzilla on the big show. We will kill you today. <laughs> this guy is like, no, I'm, I'm going to step back from the edge and I'm move here, and they're going to try to pelter uh, kicks, and the one with disadvantage is going to try to attack break. I got the one with disadvantage is fighting me. <laughs> so let's go with the disadvantage first. That's a miss. Uh, the two ones that don't have disadvantage on kicks. Uh, they both miss. The okay, rain of javelins right. come down, but nothing happens. Uh, yep. Gar. Uh, yeah. Move Technically, closer. I am casting spells at them. Why would I move closer? That seems like a dumb move. Because we want you to be close when We want get... you to be a target. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nope. Technically, yeah. yes. Hey, maybe the blinding sand and the color, it's like, you know, you have no idea. So you're firing spells wide. The colors, Luke, the colors. Is your bird really that high up that after four rounds, he still can't get down here to help you? He's keeping an eye on things. Oh, okay. Uh, what, are you counting on my bird for some reason? My one hit point bird? I hit, thought he would help uh, you. Yeah, you still have your, your climbing check, uh, but you're under fire, so I'm going to ask you to do another climbing check. Okay, let's, let's, see, let's see me drop on my ass. No. 22. You reach the top, but where do you end? Well, I guess you have to end up here. Yeah, you I guess safe. so. It, it like There's a little bit of cliff edge there. It depends on where you want. Either way, yeah. I can just be up there. To describe it, this guy is preceding solid ground, but this guy is on shaky ground on the edge. Just so mm -hmm. you know. Brave. Okay. Um, can I you see can... either of them that from where this I am? This guy and this guy. If you attack him, this guy, you're attacking him with disadvantage. This guy would be. I'm attacking the one that does not have the disadvantage. Twelve. Nope. You hit ah. Alex's feet, but don't hit his feet. Damn it! All right, then. Uh, there's another javelin that's probably near me right now. Mm -hmm. I will grab it, and I will. That's two more there. And you already picked one up, so yeah. yeah. This guy's like, oh, I'm a pope. Pope, this guy just said he's a pope. Let's kill this lizard. This guy just said he's the pope. Oh, which 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 pope? Is it Urban, Innocent, or Adrian? So uh, when that got uh, convicted of a crime one? and then buried, and uh, then they Adrian. dug him up, they dug him up yeah. and then convicted him of a crime again. <laughs> I don't. Know. But that's a pope or anti-pope? No, that was an actual pope. That. Yeah. They oh, dug the him up to put him on pope. trial. They put his body on trial. Well, the, the question is, which anti-pope are we talking about? Yeah. Anyway, uh, range attack against Spraith with disadvantage. Oh, that's that's the thing. And so, now these guys, well, they, they didn't pull any more javelins, so they pull out the great axes. You can oh, really boy. tell that we're in a real fantasy world by the fact that every time a javelin gets thrown, it never breaks. Yeah. Uh, so let's, the guy on the top is going to swing with the great axe at kicks. Yup. It's a miss, and the guy in the back also misses. I mean, they're they, making huge swings. You know that they hit you. Yeah, it's like they, we're they, on a narrow cliff ledge, and they've chosen weapons that need them to swing wide. I mean, at least they're not yeah. pack decks, guys. No, yeah. Thank God for that. So, Gar. That's why yeah. I like Kobold. <laughs> hey, I encourage you to roll Kobold. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a hit. That is a hit. This guy? I didn't see you ping anybody, but it's the same guys. Yeah, that one. Same guys I've uh, always been doing. Yeah. Yeah, he falls over. Ah! Just ice sculpture shatters. Yeah, do the sub zero and, ending. And yeah. break, breaks his neck when he hits the ground. Wow. Good. Yeah. Kicks, you have. Two, you're basically trapped between the two guys. You have the edge, yep. and you have the orcs. I'll focus on this guy first. Typical Sunday night for kicks. Mm -hmm. Yup. Oh, 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 oh. uh, hmm. I am going to go ahead and do a menacing attack. Okay. A 15 to hit. And what does the menacing attack do? A DC 14 or be frightened. He also takes 11 damage. So it's a wisdom thing. You guys are not very wise. Ooh, that means... Okay, let's look at the frightening condition. I guess he has to run away, doesn't he? Yeah, he has to run away, and only until the attacker's next turn. Yeah. Okay, so he took seven points of damage, correct? Mm-hmm. Well, 11, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, 11. Yeah. 11. Uh, so he's still there, but yeah, you sliced him 
really badly. Yeah. And if he doesn't choose to disengage, maybe I'll strike him on the way out. Yeah. Uh, Wraith. I'm this moving over. Dead. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, I'm moving out here. I get. I can see both of them. I assume. Mm -hmm. Now, is there a disadvantage for shooting into it in the melee? Mm, technically, no. All right, I'm doing the one that's behind kicks, the one that I struck before. This one? No, oh, you struck this guy before. Yeah, that before. guy. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a crit. Yo. Okay. One d six will your strength. Yeah. Go roll. Yeah. Roll it roll twice. Again. Roll to to don't roll the the bonus. Just roll the die. So it'll be yeah, four, so five, uh, uh, five, five. And two, seven, seven. Yeah. Oh no no uh no five five total. Five. The modifier no, doesn't get added. To no the no it's four plus one is five plus two seven. I'm not multiplying the modifier. Well why would you? Why what? Why are you adding two again? There's no because multiplying it's bonus. at all here. So yeah, it would no, be he's... two plus one plus two. No, he rolled. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> that's not, that's why. No, I play fair. It's five. Yeah. Okay. So let me. Okay. Okay. Still there. Still very much wounded. So By the way, does the uh, does the uh, frightened uh, condition have the no attacking rider on it? Uh. Well, he can. A frightened, you can't get closer to the target. To right, right, but he's starting within range. Does it mean he could attack and then run away, or does it mean he can't attack? That's what a frightened then. And uh, I, I would assume so. Otherwise, like it's a useless ability. Well, I mean, if you frightened somebody that was uh, out of range, like we frightened of you. the skeletons before. Frightened. A frightened creature has its advantage on ability checks and attacks while the source of fear is within line of sight. The creature can willingly move closer to the source of its fear. Actually, it can stay there and keep attacking. Because I can't go closer. It doesn't scare it doesn't run away. So but it will do so with this advantage. Mm -hmm. Alright, so technically if there was nobody behind you, you could just step back and the dude couldn't do anything to you. Well, I guess technically he could still throw javelins at you. This is really not a useful use of your die. Yeah, I mean if that's the way it's gonna work, it's like does this really help? I don't know. It's I'll not it later. It's, it's not Iron yeah. Claw. So yeah. yeah, the one that is wounded here, we're gonna take a swing. Regular attack. It's a great axe. Does an 18 hit? Uh, an 18 does in fact hit. That's the one without disadvantage, correct? Exactly. So it's 11 slashing damage. Youch. And the other one with disadvantage. That's a miss. I mean, the disadvantage right, I will aspect. I choose to repulse then because I need to right now. Yeah. For 15. Oh, yeah, you kill it. The repulse doesn't cancel the damage. It simply allows you to attack. Right. It will, they if they miss, I get to use my reaction to try to strike by spending a point. Oh, okay, so this this guy's... So I can bad. no longer do this at all. Yeah. Your your dice come back on a short rest, right? That's yeah. right. All right. Uh, yep. Those works are doing the thing. The other works don't do anything. Guard. Uh, yeah. Uh, the guys on the other cliff are also within range of me, so it doesn't matter. I'd mm -hmm. never have to move closer. I also never have to hit. <laughs> so, Kix, uh, you have one orc in front of you. All right. I'm going to let out a roar, and I'm going to second wind, which will return me 8 HP, and then I will strike at him for five. 